I'm John Hinkle, the senior pastor of First Presbyterian Church here in downtown Murfreesboro on the corner of College and Spring. This is your Saturday morning preview of Sunday morning sermon. So as you are aware from last Sunday, we are in the middle of stewardship season, that time that we put aside in the life of the church to focus on how we are giving ourselves the mission and ministry of this congregation, of the of the body of Christ where we gather in worship. Um, I told you last Sunday, and this won't come as a surprise, that you know there are really three sacred pillars to understanding stewardship and how we are called to give. That is our time, that is our talent, and that is our tithe or our financial gift. But this year, in this stewardship season, we are specifically focusing on our time. As I was, as I said last Sunday, the truth is, without giving your time, um, you'll never give your talents, right? The only way you can give your talent is if you give your time first, right? You're you're present in the life of the church, and we pointed out that that especially during COVID, where um, people were unable to congregate, that financial giving dropped off in so many churches because because we weren't present. We Our time was not in the church. So as we look at stewardship and focusing specifically on our time, we're now going to look at why giving our time is so important for our own well-being. Um, we're looking at Paul's letter to the church in Rome, where where Paul talks about our present suffering. He doesn't talk about my present suffering. He's talking about all of us. And the reality is for all of us, uh, we all have our struggles. Some of you are struggling at this very moment. Some of you, it's going to be a struggle just to come to church. And Paul recognizes this. And, and by by making it clear that 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 it's not just about me, my struggles, it's about our struggles, that we do not have to struggle alone. That when we give our time to the church, we are present with other people who are just like us. Other people who have their struggles, other people who have their joys, other people who mourn, other people who celebrate. We are all in this together. But Paul also makes it very clear that it's not just that we're together, but we are together through the Holy Spirit, meaning that there's something divine that holds us in place, so much so that Paul says that the Holy Spirit actually intercedes on our behalf with words we cannot understand, but that the Holy Spirit is that, that connecting piece that holds us together and connects us with the divine. Now, you may be asking, what does that have to do with stewardship? Stewardship is our response to it, right? Stewardship is how we respond when we are awakened, that we're not alone, and that the Holy Spirit holds us together. So I look forward to being with you as we continue to move forward in, in the season of stewardship, asking that very question, how am I giving my time back to the church? I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you Sunday. But if not, I hope to see you soon.